Formula One goes to the iconic Monaco track. Racing through the streets of Monaco for the Monaco Grand Prix. We're going to break it down. Give you guys a few options on how to bet this race. Thanks for joining. I'm Andy from wagertalk.com. First thing we're going to do is just kind of take a look at some pictures here of the Grand Prix. I mean, it is just stunning. It, it, to me, it's the most visually incredible race that, they, that they're on um, in the entire season. I mean, they're racing right along the the streets of Monaco next to the hotels, next to the ocean. I mean, all the yachts uh, that are parked there. Um, it, it really is just a pretty amazing um, track. That's the good part of Monaco. The bad part is you can't pass. And <laughs> that's what's really, really uh, sad about this track is once, once the race starts, unless something crazy happens in the pits or something happens um, – there's a wreck or, or, or anything, but once they get going, it is follow the leader. It's the hardest track to, to overtake. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, it's kind of the dark cloud that always hangs over uh, this race. So it all comes down to qualifying for these guys. Uh, I'm recording this Friday morning. I just watched the first practice session and I can't really take too much away from it. They had some, they had a red flag. They had a couple accidents. They had traffic. Um, I will say uh, Verstappen and Perez struggled a bit. Uh, with speed Perez had a puncture there at the end of practice and we're stopping was telling his team what's kind of wrong with the car. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about them too much. Uh, I believe they both kind of practiced around ninth and 10th. Uh, the announcer is doing a really good job saying that they're really saving their soft tires for when they really need them. Um, I think they're looking more at qualifying. So I would not take a whole lot away from practice, uh, the first practice session anyways. So um, scenery is amazing. Race could be boring. So it all comes down to qualifying for sure. So uh, let's take a look at some of the odds and how we can play this race. You know, uh, Max is still the favorite at minus 200. Looks like Lando Norris is going to be the big threat moving forward. The upgrades that the McLaren have given him are, have been pretty good. Uh, well, not pretty good. Uh, resulted in him getting a win, although I'm not sure he wins that race without the. Actually, I know he doesn't win the race without the, without the big accident there. So, um, but it looks like he's got the speed, and anything can happen in qualifying. Uh, whoever qualifies on the pole, boy, they're looking like you. Whoever makes it is in the driver's seat. If it's Max, Max is going to be minus 400 to win. If it's Lando, Lando is probably going to be minus 200 to win. If it's Leclerc, Leclerc's going to be minus 200 to win. So. Um, I actually think sprinkling a bit on the clerk and Norris to win at big plus money is worth it. Um, before first practice, it was, they were both around plus 500, anything over plus 300 on them, because if either one of them gets on the pole, that number is just going to plummet. So, um, I trust Red Bull with the in-race strategy. I trust them more than McLaren and Ferrari, um, uh, well, I mean, I trust most cars. I, I trust most teams more than Ferrari on in race strategy. They've been better this year, but it's been an issue for them. So, um, if if Max can't get around the uh, the leader on the start, don't be surprised if they take a big swing on one of the pit stops, try and do an undercut, um, something pretty sneaky. So, um, I just think the smart money is splitting like maybe a unit and a half between uh, Leclerc and Norris, and hope that uh, one or both get on the front row there. So, uh, parlay piece. Hey, listen, Ferrari double top 10, rinse and repeat. They cashed again for us last week as a parlay piece. Honestly, Mercedes is probably safe as well for this category. You could even look at McLaren um, and possibly even Red Bull. The, these top four teams are so much better that it, it literally takes reliability, a puncture, a wreck for them to not finish in the top 10. I don't expect these guys to not make it into the top 10 in qualifying. So this race is boring and becomes follow the leader. A lot of these teams, double top 10 finish is going to cash for you. So parlay pieces, you can absolutely look at that. And then top 10, uh, listen, for, I do a free article for uh, formula one and golf and UFC for wagertalk.com. And we've been talking in the article about how Yuki Sonoda keeps cashing on this top 10. That's four out of the last five races. Um, he's finishing the top 10. He's finally not plus money, but he's right around even. Um, it, he, here's the thing. He's qualified top 10 in five out of the last six races. So they've got those cars set up really good to qualify well, which is the most important part about this. So I think he's looking pretty good to have another top 10 finish. Uh, practice one was pretty good. He was easily inside the top 10. This is only minus 105. If he qualifies like eighth, ninth, maybe, 
uh, you're getting a steal. You've absolutely beaten the odds on this one. So Yuki Sonoda, another top 10 finish is how I would play this one. So really, we're looking at parlay pieces uh, with Ferrari double top 10, Mercedes, McLaren, maybe even Red Bull, depending on the odds. Um, Max is the, the favorite to win, but I think a sprinkle on Norris and Leclerc would be the way to go in this one. So, But again, it all comes down to qualifying. All of our official picks will be at wagertalk.com. And guys, if you could, please just hit the like button uh, if you enjoy these quick little uh, tidbits. Leave me a comment. Tell me uh, what you like about the Formula One race. Um, the, the, obviously, it's going to come down to qualifying, but if you got any really good bets that you like, leave them in the comment section and just let us know you appreciate the gambling content. It helps me out a ton, and it lets Wager Talk know I'm doing a good job for you guys. So we will have all of our official plays over at wagertalk.com for the weekend. We've got really good NBA and NHL pack for Friday. So if you're watching this on Friday, head over the page and grab that. We're coming off of a cash on our only play last night in the NBA. We hit Drew Holiday over 13 and a half points. That extends our run. We are over 63% in the NBA for 2024. It does not get much better than that for a winning percentage. NHL, we were number one in the regular season. Uh, we've been passed by a couple people in the playoffs, but it's really because I've been very, very low volume in the NHL. I have not had many plays. I think only four or five. So, i um, really happy with the season, though. We're over 62% in NHL as well, so we are crushing those sports. And Friday, we've got an NBA and NHL combo pack, one best bet in each sport. So you're getting one price, and you're getting two best bets in sports I've been running very, very hot in. So I encourage everyone to take advantage of that at wagertalk.com. Go ahead and uh, leave a comment and hit the like button if you could. Thanks. Good luck. Let's have a great weekend at the Monaco Grand Prix.